Hey guys, glad to have you with me for this video. This is a direct viewer request. It came in the YouTube comments of a recent video. I'll read it to you. Sunny631 wants to know about the best three or four color eyeshadow palettes. She knows about those e.l.f. bite size palettes, loves those, and wants more like that. And I feel like e.l.f. is kind of responsible for um, the rebirth of the quads and trios. You know, I think palettes really took off large palettes for quite some time. And and I think maybe Elf is saying, hey, everybody, you know, there's some real value in having just a small palette that creates a very easy, very self-explanatory look. You know, you can kind of put it together in your mind just by looking at it. And as I was starting to look through some of the smaller palettes in my collection, I realized I have a lot of small palettes that have, you know, five shades or six shades. There's a lot of six color palettes, a lot of nine color palettes, some really nice compact things. But there's something to be said for the quad or trio because those really really do tend to simplify things even more. So of course, I would like to know in the comments section as we go here if you uh, love any of these same ones I'm talking about or if you've got any other suggestions. But talking about e.l.f., I have finally tried all of the different bite size palettes and I thought I might go ahead and mention here off the top um, what my favorite ones are. I actually really love this one called Truffles. You may recall I used this one in my Target Best Sellers video and it's probably one of my favorite looks that I've I've done in recent memory. This has a really cool kind of like taupey silver shade in it and it creates the most beautiful pop on the lids kind of in the center of your lid and then the mattes are really nice quality here as well. You've got three super basic shades with this kind of camel color, a rich dark chocolate and then also a black. So it's a really nice little basic palette but I think it's fun that it has that cool borderline silvery pop in it and I was just really pleased with the way that look turned out. Another one of my favorites from that line. I think this uh, one called Berry Bad is actually so beautiful. I love that you're getting this rich matte burgundy shade. You're also getting kind of the perfect color to set up your crease with this sort of rich peach shade on the end. And then you've got two different directions you can go in terms of the shimmer. One is a bit more coppery and one has more of a pinky twist. I've got those on each of those fingers there. I'll probably get some better swatches going throughout this video. But I just love those tones, period. And I think that palette puts together a really nice spread. My issue with some of the e.l.f. palettes is that in terms of creating the complete look, sometimes they've put in a couple of really close shades and it's only a quad, so it kind of needs to be a pretty well-rounded spread. So I thought the berry one did really well with that. And then just in terms of crazy impressive pigmentation, I used this one in a very recent video. It's the Bite Size Palette in Hot Jalapeno and this one is just so pigmented. Um, you get a really rich forest green, this nice kind of grassy green that mixes in a bit more yellow and then these two shimmers are just off the charts. Like when you put that green on, you think it's almost neon. It's really fun. Um, you wouldn't have to use every piece of this palette or you might just find that bits and pieces uh, fit in well with other neutral palettes that you have and you can have some little pops of color. But I just thought that one in particular was one of the most impressive ones pigmentation wise from that whole bite size range. And I know my last video was an e.l.f. video, so we're talking a lot of e.l.f. lately. Hope you don't mind. But now we're going to move into some other brands of quads and trios, mainly quads. Um, that I really like. And I'll chat about the one that I'm wearing now. This is from LA Girl and it's from their iLux line. This is a really nice range of quads to look into. They are available at Ulta and this is the one called Energize. And something I really love about this is just the effortless nature of this look. It really epitomizes the kind of look that someone reaching for a quad wants to have. You know, it's simple, it's basic, not too muddied with a bunch of different tones and colors. Um, this one really centers around peach but there's some beautiful like kind of supporting tones in here that range everywhere from like a dirty bronze to kind of a dusty copper. This one is almost touching rose gold up here, that shade, and then this matte peach right here. So what I've done with my look today is I just went all over the lid with that peach shade. This color right here is what's giving me the most intensity in the crease, and I really love that. It's got a little bit of shimmer, but in that way it's very forgiving, and it's just super easy to blend, and everything ends up looking really 
smooth there and I blended it out with this color that offers a little bit more um, reddish warmth. So it's really like the most basic little eye look ever. I may have blended out the edges again with this peachy shade just right over the border of everything. But I'm just a real fan of how smooth that is. I like the pigmentation and I think this is a line worth looking into. Another fantastic line in the drugstore that really deserves a lot more buzz are these pocket palettes from L'Oreal. Um, one of them here, this one called Boudoir Charm. I believe I have a whole video that I did on everything in this line, but it was quite a while back. But this one I love so much just for everyday basics. Now everything in here does have shimmer, but it's not really like a bothersome shimmer you can't work with. You know what I've said a million times about how when you take a shade that might have a little shimmer, but you sheer it out with like a crease brush, a Sigma E25 type brush, you start taking advantage less of the shimmer and more of just the pure pigment in that color. And this shade here, this kind of like really dusty, rusty shade, it's dusty, rusty, that's what it is. This color down here, a dirty bronze, more of a pure bronze color right in there. And then you've got this soft, creamy shade to work with also. It creates such a beautiful look and those colors blend so easily. And it's actually kind of a nice dupe palette, I would say, for the Dolce Vita from Charlotte Tilbury. It's working in some of the very same tones, actually, except the bronze here is much easier to work with, and the bronze in the Charlotte Tilbury I find to be much more flaky, but it's really a very similar look there, so if you're looking for a dupe, um, check that out. Really, all these pocket palettes are really nice, but another one that those who enjoy kind of a rosy look, we're talking a little more on the pinky side than the um, Elf Berry palette that I just showed you guys, but you get a really shimmery pink in here. You do get a deep kind of brownish burgundy in there to anchor everything, kind of a medium dusty rose, and then this light cream as well. But the textures in these are so, so beautiful and very easily blendable. I feel most of them give you that really nice balance of light, medium, and dark, so I'm a big fan of those. Now, if we're talking quads, Wet n Wild cannot be overlooked. Um, they did kind of change things recently. They went from a trio format to a quad format with their little palettes like this. And if they were going to make a change, I do like that they kept some of the staple um, tones that everybody was familiar with. Like they're still walking on eggshells, they're still sweet as candy, and they're still silent treatment, which I think is one of the most important ones. And what they've actually done is given you in every palette a little shade labeled transition up at the top. And it's kind of like a muted, sort of blended out type color, matte. You've got your rich crease shade, you've got your light shade. There's this really pretty cool silvery gray. I feel like I used this one or at least had it on somewhat recently, and it's just a nice, cool palette if you're looking for that. Oh, and one other thing about the silent treatment, it kind of, I was gonna mention this It Cosmetics Trio. This is the Lux High Performance Hydrating Eyeshadow Trio in Pretty in Smoke. I've had this one for quite a long time. I love the shades in here, and really, if you've had an It Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and you've thought, gosh, I love the texture of these eyeshadows. They're kind of smooth and buttery, um, always easy to blend. All of these shades in here have sort of a satiny finish and they just work together so well on the eyes. And I was going to mention this and then I really start looking at my silent treatment palette here and I'm thinking, you know, they both have that light shade. They both have kind of have that cool silvery grayish option and they have something deep as well, although this one has a hint of blue to it. But they're both ones that I really like. I would say you can get a a similar look by going for the Wet n Wild, not an exact dupe. One other one you might want to know about, which was not really a trio turned quad, this was kind of new when they put out their quad format, it's the one called Petalette, and this one for plum lovers, you do get kind of an icy pink here, but there's a really nice rich plummy purple that has a lot of purple satisfaction in there, you know what I mean? It's not so dark that it looks like a black plum. It definitely does look purpley. And then this transition shade here is your great dusty lilac. So you can kind of see how that would fit all together. If you're a purple fan, it's good to know that that's out there. It wouldn't be a conversation about quads and trios without mentioning my dear CoverGirl Shimmering Sands. I think this is kind of the training palette. This is the palette to yeah, get your feet wet if you're just starting out with eyeshadow. 
everything has just a little bit of a shimmer to it and that helps us that helps with blending it kind of takes the edge off of things you know if you're just starting out you don't want to pull in your most rich matte um, contrast heavy eyeshadow palette to try to work with these are going to give you a beautiful glow to the lid or the brow bone you've got a nice medium shade here that you can use all over the lid or maybe to help blend things out and then a deep shade that's just not too deep but I mean any day of the week I could get a pretty look with this palette be totally happy with this and it's not the type of thing where you'd be out and about and be like oh you've got your shimmering sands palette on today no it just gives you a classic beautiful eye that gives you that little bit of contrast but not too much and it's just really hard to go wrong with it it's the type of palette that could be used very quickly and hastily frankly and still give you a beautiful look I'm not talking about that one out of obligation like oh I've talked about shimmering sands forever I need to keep talking about it but truly I wanted to mention it here because I think it is still in the landscape of all eyeshadow quads and trios it's still worth mentioning and lastly I'd like to bring up makeup geek they have some really fun quads on the website I have this one I'll have to look up the name because it's not actually printed on the back of this palette I think that's because everything is so customizable like they give you the palette and they give you the individual shades and you can just pop them in and then you could change that down the road if you wanted a different configuration but I love this one. This would be for the warm lovers out there um, who love a rust, a really rich burgundy rust shade, coral, the most beautiful medium kind of peachy brown, and then this light shade that is like just insanely pigmented. It's like the iciest, li whitest lilac you've ever seen, and everything just works together so surprisingly well with this one. It's very eye brightening, but definitely for those of you out there who like a warmer look. And just as far as Makeup Geek goes, this whole range, she's got some pre-put together quads on her website, and I think that's definitely worth diving into, seeing what ones might suit you best, because they create an easy look, but they are the extreme in terms of pigmentation and softness. And just really what you see is what you get, bold impact. If it were still available, I would be mentioning the Bare Minerals Happy Place quad in this video, um, but it's just not out there anymore. There are actually quite a few things I was finding in my collection, and then I look them up online I'm like oh no that it doesn't look like they're selling that anymore but I really think that with elf having these bite-sized palettes and they're just really good quality compact easy things to work with I think we're really gonna start to see a comeback I know covergirl's got some new quads that don't look too different from these and I'm expecting to get some of those in the mail soon that I ordered from Ulta so to be continued on that but yeah quads and trios these are some of my favorites I would love to hear your feedback in the comments section and thank you so much to sunny 631 for this awesome request. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.